Hi there, everybody. My name is Ken Bone, and not only do I have important questions about U.S. energy policy, but, I, but I'm also here to bring you a special Halloween edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Now, if you've been following Poorly Reviewed Beer, you know that my friend Justin is not a big fan of pumpkin beers. So for this Halloween Poorly Reviewed Beer, he brought me in to check out Southern Tier Brewing Company in Lakewood, New York, and their Warlock Imperial Style brewed with pumpkins and natural flavor. Let's see what the brewers at Southern Tier have to say about Warlock. We decided to turn things up a bit this year and brew Warlock to a Blackwater, Blackwater Series appropriate 10.0 ABV. Warlock is brewed to enchant your palate on its own and also to counterpoint our Imperial Ale Pumpkin. Make your own black magic by carefully pouring this Imperial Stout into a goblet. Dark and Mysterious, the Blackwater series is a series about high gravity. Reanimate your senses with Warlock's huge roasted malt character, moderate carbonation, and spicy pumpkin pumpkin pie aroma. As I said, it uh, comes in at 10% ABV, and uh, ingredients used include two row pale malt, caramel malt, black malt, munich malt, pureed pumpkin, magnum hops, sterling hops, and natural pumpkin spice flavor. All right, so pretty well pitch black. Yeah, just very, very, very dark. Just a little bit of head on top. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. So even as I was bringing it up to, uh, bringing it up to, to grab a sip, uh, pumpkin pie really came through aroma wise, but um, the, the taste is much, much more diverse. Uh, pumpkin pie spices are a little bit present, but I'm getting a lot more chocolate, dark fruit, maybe just a hint of coffee. The cocoa notes are pretty prevalent early on in the in the sip. And actually really at the very end as well, almost into the aftertaste. The middle is has uh, things kind of like raisins and some dark other other fruits, maybe plums, those kinds of fruits. There is a boozy note there at 10%. You would expect that. Um, so the booziness is... Uh, is present, but it's not overwhelming. Um, just incredibly tasty. Maybe again, just a hint of coffee um, at the, the very, very end there. Uh, plenty of malt as well. Kind of almost combines with the chocolate for a bit of a um, uh, malted milk ball kind of a kind of a sensation. But um, just really tasty, really hitting a lot of the notes that I'm a, I'm a big fan of. Have to drink a little more slowly, sip it, uh, sip it more slowly. It is ten percent ABV, but um, just a really, really, really outstanding beer overall. And again, the pump, pumpkin pie, spices, cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, all spice, those kinds of things. I usually call them fall spices or winter spices. Again, much stronger in the aroma than they are in the flavor. Flavor of the flavor of the beer itself is much more uh, chocolatey and fruity, and just uh, again a little bit boozy uh, compared to that aroma. But I'm um, really, really, really terrific beer from uh, from Southern Tier. So that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, this was a, a special Halloween edition of uh, Poorly Reviewed Beer. So next time, which will be tomorrow, as previously promised. Uh, the 21st Amendment Brewery will be making its PRB debut. You can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewBeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description below. And if you are so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. 
Thanks for watching and see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.